Who's ready for Monster Jam? Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be unboxing the final six trucks uh, Final six Hot Wheels Monster Jam trucks from the Christmas haul video So yeah, like I said the final six trucks are here and uh, yeah, they are thumbtack to the wall Which is really funny because these trucks did not want to cooperate with me You know making like the thumbnail of this video So I just decided to thumbtack the uh, the studio behind it's probably going to be ruined with uh all the holes in the back. I just need to get more uh, uh, poster. Yeah, the white, like, uh, cardboardish poster. You know, y'all know what I'm talking about. Poster board, that's the name of it. I just need to get more to that. Uh, anyways, we got the final six trucks here, and they are small hubs, which is awesome. So, uh, I'll get the first truck out of here as best as I can. Slowly but surely, there we go. So, the first truck that we have is another version of the small hub grain grave digger this one has the grave digger 1983 to 1985 version um the great uh, the grain grave digger that i have is kind of purple ish if you know what i mean i won't throw a photo of it up on screen but you you know what i mean if you're a collector of these trucks so yeah that will be the first one that we would do unbox today or that we will unbox today and uh, moving on to number two slowly but surely uh, we have Bulldozer, finally a small hub Bulldozer. Uh, I believe this is from 2001, if not 2002, but there is Bulldozer. And uh, then we are going to move on to, slowly but surely, uh, Dragon Slayer from 2003. And yes, his card is like completely damaged. The actual plastic bubble is like completely damaged. Look at that. And uh, this is a specific variation of this Dragon Slayer that I don't have, which was... Uh, very cool to find out. So yeah, there's Dragon Slayer. And then we will move on to uh, Predator here. Yes, his card is in really bad shape. It was worse than this. I tried to, you know, bend it back to straighten it up, but it's still in really bad shape. Uh, and this Predator card has seen some, some better days. Uh, that's for certain. It's all yellow. It's called cracked. You can see the inside of the truck there. But uh, yeah, we will unbox that Predator there. And then we also have Avenger here, which is awesome. I do have the Small Hub Avenger, which is actually in box, but it is signed by Jim Kohler, which is awesome. And a $2.98 back in the day. Wow, that might be the lowest price that we have for a Small Hub truck. Uh, it's about $3.99 or $3.88 nowadays, which is funny because it pretty much jumped up a whole dollar. But uh, yeah, there is the Small Hub Avenger. He'll be number five. And uh, the final truck that we will unbox today is Chillin' Villain from 2001. This is a small hub I've been trying to get for quite some time. And uh, he came in the lot of trucks that I got for Christmas, which was awesome. Really cool. And uh, yeah, his card has also seen some better days. Uh, but yeah, there's Chillin' Villain. And uh, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go remove those three thumbtacks from the studio. And uh, then we will unbox the Grain Grave Digger. And here is the Small Hub Grain Grave Digger. Uh, there is this little uh, card that it comes with. Like I said, the Grave Digger logo, 1983 to 1985. This is a, a specific variation to this Grain Grave Digger. And I already talked about that in the beginning of the video. And uh, there are the trucks on the back. I'm only gonna say it one time and one time only if I have any other cars that look like this. So going through this really quickly, we have Hot Wheels, Wild Thing, Eradicator, Thrasher, Grain Grave Digger, Grave Digger, El Toro Loco, Bustin' Loose, Chillin' Villain, Medusa, Reptoid, Vet King, Avenger, Prowler, The Incredible Hawk, uh, Hulk, King Crunch, Sudden Impact, Wolverine, Team Mence, Bulldozer, Spider-Man, Predator, Airborne Ranger, and Masters of the Universe, He-Man. So, uh, yeah, there's all the trucks that are for Grave Digger's card. And here is the Small Hub Green Grave Digger. Uh, he rolls perfectly right out of the package. He does like to turn a little bit like that you just see so how it will he will turn you know different directions that's really funny the studio is so dusty too that's embarrassing anyways here is the small hub grain grave digger from 2001 possibly 2002 i'm not good with specific dates for the small hubs because the 2001 and 2002 card bags look exactly the same 
But yeah, here is Grave Digger. Uh, the small hub version of this grain Grave Digger looks really cool. And it's really funny that they made this truck all the way back in, you know, 2001 or 2002. Anyways, let's do our in-depth graphics review with this truck. You had the Grave Digger logo along with Chesapeake, Virginia, and the Caratuck Grain Company logo right there. It's a Chevy Power 427 cubic inch engine. That's uh, why they say that. You also have the Hot Wheels uh, logo, a sponsor for TCI and Moroso. Moroso, I don't know how to say it. And then you have the USHRA uh, logo right there. And then you can see the whole uh, paint of this Grave Digger. And uh, going up to the front of the truck, you have Grave Digger's iconic red headlights and just the uh, blue color up there on the hood. The other side is the exact same thing. You have nothing on the back besides Grave Digger's engine, which is there, and absolutely nothing on the ceiling uh, or on the roof uh, besides my ceiling fan light, which you can see right there, which is funny. But uh, Grave Digger is sitting on the classic uh, Hot Wheels Monster Jam metal roll cage with a gray chassis. It has the small hub tires with uh, blue rims, which is awesome. But uh, there is the small hub grain grave digger, the second variation and the final variation that I needed for this truck, which is awesome. So there he is. And uh, now it is time to move on to a small hub bulldozer. And bulldozer is here and his cart is different this time. So there are the trucks that are on the back, wild thing, sudden impact, bulldozer and bust and loose. And I believe he is from 2001, if I'm not mistaken, so. Yeah, there is Bulldozer, and uh, here he is, you guys, out of the package. He looks like he rolls perfectly, and uh, it's awesome to have a small hub Bulldozer in my collection. Uh, bulldozer is just such a popular truck. Um, they, it, it was one truck that we hoped Spin Master would make, and they finally made it all the way back in Series 17. I'm looking at the truck like this. That's why the cameras uh, or the truck is off to the side and not, you know, in frame for you guys. So I apologize. But uh, yeah, here is the small up bulldozer. The actual color of uh, the actual tan color of this looks a lot darker on camera, but it's it's pretty light when you look at it, you know, in person if you have this truck in your collection. But yeah, it's awesome to have bulldozer in my collection because whenever I had like an El Toro logo or a bulldozer growing up, these horns were gone or either one of the horns was there or, you know, it all it had a lot of paint chips and the horns weren't even touched. I was really rough with my trucks growing up because, you know, I saw the Monster Jam events on TV and I thought what it would be so cool to recreate the crash, Bulldozer's crash from Houston 2001, if y'all know what I mean. <laughs> um, but yeah, here it is, you guys, Bulldozer from 2001, the small hub one, and let's do our in-depth graphics review with this truck. So as you can see, we have the Bulldozer logo along with the Hot Wheels and USHRA logos right there. And then you can see the detail on the uh, the actual uh, fur and skin for the bull. Uh, you have the bull's teeth. It does not have the gold tooth, and I believe that is just exclusive to El Toro Loco, if I'm not mistaken. You have uh, the front of the truck with the, the chin hair. And then you also have the nostrils with the nose ring off there for the hood of the truck. The other side is different because this time it includes the name of Guy Wood who drove Bulldozer back in the day. And it, you realize how it doesn't have that on the door. Uh, that's where the door would be. Uh, anyways, the other side, we already just talked about it. So anyways, moving on. On the back, you have a Bulldozer, bulldo oh my gosh, Bulldozer's logo. And up there on the... Uh, roof of the truck you have both uh, white horns which is awesome so bulldozer is sitting on a classic hot wheels monster jam uh, metal roll cage with a black chassis with the small hub tires and gray rims so there is bulldozer from 2001 awesome to have the small hub version and uh, now it is time to move on to a very specific variation of dragon slayer and here is Dragon Slayer. His trucks are different, although I already said the names of these trucks uh, in a previous video. So, yeah. Anyways, here is Dragon Slayer. How does he roll? He rolls pretty much perfectly. He does like to turn a little bit, so do keep that in mind if you're choosing this truck for a sign-up series. And he has a bunch of weird stuff on that tire. I'll see if I can remove that. I think it's just, like, packaging uh, from the cardboard, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, yeah, here is Dragon Slayer, the original truck uh, that had this Hummer body, which is very cool. It's awesome. You know, I, I personally, I didn't like the small hub Dragon Slayer. Um, 
you know, a few years ago when I first got mine from Missouri. It was a Missouri uh, thrift store or antique store that I found it at, along with, uh, was it Hot Wheels, the small of one? Maybe, I don't know. But yeah, here's Dragon Slayer, very cool. And uh, let's do our in-depth graphics review with this truck. So, as you can see, we have the Dragon Slayer logo along with uh, like a red tail light there. I don't know what that is. And some sort of writing there. Something about DJ Johnson. Speaking of DJ Johnson, that's the specific variation of this truck that we have. You have the actual Dragon Slayer dude there. He's got his wings. Uh, his double-bladed axe, his shield, and he is standing on the actual dragon because he's sl he slaying the beast. There's something, you know, going directly through his body. Speaking of DJ Johnson, there is his name up there on the door. That is the specific variation of this truck. Uh, this The version of Dragon Slayer that I have actually has Craig Christensen written there on the door. So I have the DJ Johnson variation, which is awesome. And uh, you also have the Monster Jam logo along with the Hot Wheels logo. You have Tough Country there. And uh, going up to the front of the truck, you have the headlights and the grill printing. And just some detail up there on the hood of the truck. Uh, like I said, the other side is the exact same thing. And then on the back here, you have the tail lights. Uh, you have a, a plastic tire. You, you cannot remove this thing. It's, you know, stuck in place. And then uh, just pretty much nothing up there on the uh, roof of the truck. And then uh, these little spots right here would be for like lights, if you know what I mean. I don't believe that's a paint chip right there. It could be for uh, all that I'm mistaken or all that I'm saying. Uh, anyways, uh, Dragon Slayer is sitting on the classic uh, Monster Jam metal roll cage with a black chassis with the small up tires and uh, white rims. So there is Dragon Slayer from 2003, a very interesting truck, although he is going out of focus. There we go. And uh, now it is time to move on to, if it wants to focus for me, please, Predator from 2001. And here he is, you guys, Predator, and I completely just threw his card down. His card is different. Actually, no, it is the same as Reptoids from the very first video. Never mind, I'm not showing that. Uh, yeah, here he is, you guys, Predator. He looks like he rolls perfectly. A slight bend in that front uh, axle there with his uh, right tire. Uh, I'll see if I can fix that. But, um, golly, so dusty. I'm telling you, embarrassing. Here is Predator, the very first version of Predator, Predator that we got as um, for Hot Wheels Monster Jam trucks. Uh, it looked really cool. I like the orange roll cage. Definitely helped this Predator stand out if you you know you were displaying your trucks on a shelf back in the day. And who you know who didn't do that at this? At, who hasn't done that at this point? I have, but I have completely uh, moved on to you know storage. Because I have no room in my room for shelves. Anyways, our in-depth graphics review for Predator. We have the Hot Wheels logo along with the USHRA badge with the Predator logo. And then you can see the printing there for the skin of the Black Panther Predator. That's It's a panther. Y'all know that. Going up to the front of the truck, you have the teeth and the nose of the panther. And then there is Predator's eyes and just more detail up there for his skin. And uh, the other side is the exact same thing. I forgot to mention his ears. If I haven't said that already, he's got his ears there. And uh, then on the back, you have the Monster Jam. It's not the Monster Jam logo. It's just, it just says Monster Jam. And then you have the USH HRA logo up there once more. And then you have nothing on the roof, although it is kind of dusty or I don't know what the heck that white thing is. But uh, anyways, Predator is sitting on a classic Hot Wheels Monster Jam metal roll cage with a orange chassis. It has the small hub tires with yellow rims this time. So there is Predator. Awesome to have him in the collection or back in the collection, I meant to say. And uh, now we are moving on to Avenger. Here is Avenger, you guys. He has the exact same trucks as, I think, the Grand Grave Digger, so I'm not gonna say the name of it. But uh, here he is, you guys, Avenger, the small hub version. The very first time we have, uh, we uh, Hot Wheels came out with an Avenger in the die cast form. And uh, here he is, you guys. 
it is a very dark green color. It looks so dark on camera, but you can see that it's green because right now it just kind of looks black a little bit. But if you look close, yes, it is green for this Avenger. But yeah, like I said, the very first time we saw Avenger in diecast form produced by Hot Wheels. And uh, I specifically love the roll cage and uh, rim color of this Avenger. So let's do our in-depth graphics review with him. So as you can see, we have the USHRE logo once more, the Avenger logo. Then you have the very first time we saw the Avenger skull with the flames coming off the back of him. You have the Hot Wheels logo, RJ's. Uh, you have the Cohen sponsor along with Dynamic Speed and uh, more flames up there. And uh, going up to the front of the truck, you have the headlights on the grill printing or the, uh, the grill of the Chevy body. And then you have the Avenger skull with more flames up there on the uh, hood of the truck. The other side is the exact same thing. And then on the back, you have the big Monster Jam logo. And then up on the roof, you have nothing. <laughs> So yeah, you can kind of see how it is a green color, but if you look at it like really far away, it looks black, but up close, yes, it is a dark green color. So Avenger is sitting on the classic Hot Wheels Monster Jam uh, metal roll cage with a turquoise, uh, uh, tur turquoise chassis and turquoise rim color. It's the exact same. I know it looks blue on camera, but I am telling you in real life, it is like a turquoise color. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you right now. And he has the classic small hub tires as well. So yeah, there is Avenger from 2002, the very first time we saw him. Awesome to have the small hub in the collection because like I told you, I have that truck, but he is carded. And now it is time to move on to the final small hub and the final truck in today's video, Chillin' Villain. And here is Chillin' Villain, you guys. Uh, I just had his card. Where did his card go? What the hell? Oh, here it is. I got it. I got it. And uh, here is the card back for Chillin' Villain. Uh, is it the exact same four trucks? Because I remember Grain Grave Digger's card back looked different than this one. Anyways, uh, you have Grave Digger, Vet King, Chillin' Villain, and the Grain Grave Digger 1983 to 1985. Although his card back did not look anything like this. I'm confused because where did I put it? Oh, it's right here. Okay, cool. Hang on, let me grab it. Wah. All right, so here is the Grain Grave Digger, the 1983 to 1985, exactly like this one, but that's what his card back looks like. So this is from 2001, 100%. Does that mean that this card back was 2002? I don't know. This Grain Grave Digger might actually be the, the purple version that I have. So that probably just answered my question. Anyways, let's talk about Chillin' Villain now, shall we? Uh, he rolls perfectly right out of the package. It's awesome that these small hubs roll perfectly because they are freaking old, dude. I'm telling you, this uh, chillin' villain right here, if it's from 2001, it is 23 years old. Do the math, y'all. Do the math. But yeah, here it is, you guys. Chillin' villain, the small hub one from 2001. Uh, a very nostalgic uh, small hub for me. I remember seeing this truck first appeared in a collection video. And then I remember this Chillin' Villain specifically because Race Grooves did not know how to uh, how to pronounce uh, this truck, which was really funny back in the day. Or, you know, it's funny to look back on it now because back in the day, it's I remember pronouncing it wrong as well. But yeah, Chillin' Villain, you guys. It's awesome to have this truck. And let's zoom in here and let's do our in-depth graphics review uh, one last time. So as you can see, we have the Chillin' Villain logo, and then we actually have the actual Chillin' Villain. He's got red eyes, sharp teeth. He looks scary. You probably don't want to invite, uh, invite him to Thanksgiving. He looks like uh, he'd be a very bad Thanksgiving football fan. Probably throw stuff at the TV if the opposing team scored a touchdown or a really bad penalty. Anyways, moving on. We had the Hot Wheels logo. I do not know what that's, oh, it is. Uh, Lev and Son Performance Products, that sponsor right there. Uh, for more sponsors, you have the USHRA logo right there. I believe that's supposed to say Collins with a K. You have Lev, L-E-V, uh, Bowers, B-A-R-S something, and then uh, Janina Int L. I, I, I don't know about that. Anyways, uh, on the front of the truck, you have the 
where the headlights would be in the grill for this SUV body. You could see the whole uh, wrapping on this SUV, how this uh, front part was, I believe, hand painted, and then they slapped the decals right on like that. Also, don't mind how like dry my hands are. They've always been like that ever since I was a little kid. I don't know if it's some sort of condition I have though. Anyways, moving on. The other uh, side is the exact same thing. You got nothing on the back besides the engine. And then up here on the roof, you have the Hot Wheels logo with just more details up there on the roof of the truck. You have, which looks like supposed to be icicle flames, which is really cool. That's a nice idea. Chillin' Villain is sitting on the classic Hot Wheels Monster Jam metal roll cage with a green chassis. He has these small hub tires with uh, gray rims. So there is Chillin' Villain, you guys, and that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. So make sure to crush that like button. If you guys like this video, why not consider subscribing? It is 100% free and you guys can always undo it. We are on the road to 1,300 subscribers or 1,300 subscribers, whichever way you wanna say it, which is mind boggling to think. You guys can also follow me on Instagram at MonsterJamFan0301. You guys get exclusive content on stuff that I am going to post. And you get to reserve trucks for Monster Jam sign-up series and points competitions. It is always worth it, you guys, but I don't force you guys to. The link for my Instagram is always down in my description. I highly encourage you guys to check out my description because I do post some key information in there from time to time. So, as a quick overview, let's go over all the trucks that we got today. We have the Small Hub Grain Grave Digger from 2002. This is a different variation. Uh, we have the blue variation instead of the purple one. And then we have the uh, Small Hub Bulldozer from 2001, probably. Uh, Dragon Slayer from 2003. This is the DJ Johnson variation. We already talked about that. We have uh, Predator from 2001, Avenger from 2002, and Chillin' Villain from 2001. So some really old trucks here, you guys. Comment down below which truck is your favorite. Um, there, there's some, this is a really good group of trucks. If I had to choose any, I love the Chillin' Villain, this Bulldozer, and I like the Avenger and the Green Grave Digger as well. Um, my least favorite was probably just this Dragon Slayer because I already have it, but it's a variation of it. And, you know, come on now, it's Predator. So, yeah, so this is Monster Jam Fan 0 through one catching you guys on the rails.